So we decided to change the housing selection process to be more uh, mainstream with a lot of the other colleges and universities and also to provide students with more autonomy. So in this new process, they're able to select their friends and their friends can select them. So our new housing process is online this year. So students um, on February 26th, they were able to go on to their My Housing portal and complete the housing application form. Once they completed the housing application form, um, the deadline for that was March 9th at 11.59 p.m. Once they completed that, they were then generated a, a computer lottery number. And this number was then emailed to them to let them know when their start time would be for them to participate in our online housing selection process. I think the new online housing process will really help students uh, have a more efficient and um, you know, easier time picking their housing situation in the future. But as for right now, I'm not really sure uh, how much students are going to benefit from it just because there's been so many different uh, problems with obtaining a lottery number or, or what have you, uh, just because you know, there's the kinks that need to be worked out. So this year we've um, tried to accommodate all of our students who have busy schedules and we have the process now online. So you can be in your pajamas, you can be in another state, and you can access the My Housing portal as long as you have internet connection. I think it will be easier for me to do, especially if, if you know, during the allotted time I have, a, you know, I have a commitment I have to be at, I have you know, work or whatever, I can just step away for a few minutes and uh, do it online, which is something I can, you can do anywhere. See, but Once you click select a room, the online room selection page will come up. It will say you're now eligible to select a room. You wanna click find available rooms here. It's going to show me the building, the floor, and the room numbers that I want to live in. So you can physically select which room you would like to live in. Sort of trepidatious about uh, how well I'll be able to pick my room and ensure that I have you know, the right roommates with me because if there's any problems, like if I can't select one of the people I want to room with, how am I going to uh, remedy that in the allotted time? You know, uh, that's my biggest concern. Yes, I think what's really important to understand about this housing application process, especially for students who want to live in the suites and the apartments, that they must be able to fill the apartment or the suite. Once so you have selected your room, you will get a congratulations, your room selection process is complete. Your room assignment will be emailed to you, and then you're gonna to wanna to go back into, click back to the main menu, go to applications, and complete your housing agreement application. So you're just gonna to wanna to go there, it's gonna have you read your housing agreement, and then you'll be able to type in your name as instructed on the page, and then you'll be completed housing selection.